Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman James Comer is giving the Treasury Department, I believe, until early March to finally testify and give documents on Hunter Biden. Okay, they are stalling because the federal government is stalling. They have not yet indicted or charged Hunter, but they keep investigating. It's interesting with Democrats, they investigate forever and then eventually find nothing. But you don't have the endless coverage in the Atlantic, the Times, the Washington Post, Rolling Stone, Vanity Fair, Esquire, um, BuzzFeed, uh, Vice, Daily Beast, all these other, all these publications, these this public relations monstrosities say one thing all the time about Hunter, which is nothing really, or that it's not that big of a deal, and they say the same thing about Trump. Oh my God, the embodiment of criminality, Trump. They can't find anything. They haven't indicted him, haven't charged him with a crime, yet it generates endless coverage because everyone is suspicious of Trump. And they investigate the direct political rivals for things he didn't do. Here you have obvious, clear violations of the law. We, the federal government was investigating Hunter while Trump was being impeached for asking about investigating Hunter and Joe. So that's where we are in American politics. But here, huge news, Washington Free Beacon, Hunter Biden associate cooperating with GOP's investigation into family business dealings. A former business associate of Hunter is cooperating with House Republicans in an investigation into Biden's family foreign business dealings, according to Oversight Committee's chairman, James Comer. Huge, huge development. You also have... Um, a whistleblower at the Federal Bureau of Investigation that is, this is actually really interesting. This person is, according to the, 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 the individual being, oh, being um, investigated, being investigated because of political, um, because of political purposes, he gave the Federal Bureau of Investigation information on Hunter in 2019, ladies and gentlemen, according to the Washington Free Beacon. In 2019. Okay, how so? Okay, so hold on one second. Let's just see this here. I had the article. <laughs> um, you have a situation where this invest here oh sorry so the the actual whistleblower says he gave doj information on biden family foreign business deals he's going to name names after being detained and what he claims are politically motivated charges okay so this is huge this is really huge now very rarely you get a situation where here i'm fine <laughs> I had it now, and then of course I lost it. Here you go. Here's the article. Washington Free Beacon. Whistleblower, here I'll read it again. Whistleblower came, uh, claims, says he gave DOJ information on uh, Biden's family foreign business deals. Gall left is threatening to name names after being detained on what he claims are politically motivated charges. An Israeli think tank executive who served alongside Hunter as an advisor to a uh, Chinese energy conglomerate, widely suspected of serving as a front for the Chinese Communist Party, now says he provided the Federal Bureau of Investigation with a trove of information about the uh, Biden family's foreign business dealings. He was the co-director of the Washington-based Institute for the Analysis of Global Security, provided information by Hunter, his father, his uncle, to the Justice Department in March of 2019. And this is about a $6 million deal in 2017 to procure energy investment deals in the U.S. They paid Hunter $6 million. Okay. And the claims come as former Hunter business uh, partner Eric Sherwin has started cooperating with House Oversight Committee's investigation of the family's foreign business dealings. So you have one whistleblower, one partner 
well, I guess two business partners and one Federal Bureau of Investigation, uh, I don't want to say, I don't think informant, but somebody who's basically telling all because he's now being targeted politically. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, right now. You have two people working with James Comer, who are intimately involved with Hunter, Joe, Hunter's, uh, Joe's brother, and everyone around them. So it's heating up. This is according to the Washington Free Beacon. Whistleblower says he gave DOJ information on Biden family uh, f- uh, foreign business deals. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Shalom, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Become part of a newsletter there. If you want to support my work long-term, ladies and gentlemen, my Patreon is below. To my new Patreons, thank you so very, very much. The super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. You have millions of dollars flowing to Hunter. In how, I mean, the there's also, if you can believe this, paintings that are in the hundreds of thousands of dollars that people purchased. Hunter Biden originals. Paintings, okay, where you're talking about even the great, Greatest artists of all time don't have their paintings sold for six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars, and Hunter's paintings are being sold for five hundred grand, half a million dollars. This is very bizarre. DOJ is trying to bury me and protect Joe, Jim, and Hunter. Left said an Israeli lawyer for Left claims his client provided information about Hunter Biden to the Federal Bureau of Investigation in 2019. His connections to the Chinese energy suggest companies suggest he knows something about the, the, the Bidens, and an American lawyer for left has signaled he will provide information to Congress about Left's case. Dr. Left is a whistleblower. Left's attorney uh, told the Washington Free Beacon he asserts that the prosecutors decided against pursuing Left's information, quote, and are instead targeting him with trumped up and false charges. So there you go. So there you go. I mean, it's, it's pretty unbelievable when, see... Now you get impeachment, and the impeachment is is pretty obvious. It's going to deal with pay-to-play schemes. It's going to deal with obvious money going into the, to, to their account, Hunter, Joe, their business accounts. And if Hunter is serving as a conduit for Joe, they, then that's the issue. Okay, Democrats, and you've had pundits who think that this isn't a big deal, like, oh, so what? It's not as bad as Trump. There is nothing that Trump has ever been accused of doing. Even when he was accused of working with another country to either acquire the DNC emails or benefit from the DNC emails, that's not as bad as working with intelligence fronts to derive millions of dollars and then forcing out a prosecutor. And then having an inv- having a, an invasion under the watch of Democrats and Joe Biden, so I mean it's, it's it's astounding to me how you have everyone at the Atlantic or the Washington Post. Do they not realize that an invasion took place while Democrats were in charge? Do they not realize we're ninety seconds to midnight? Do they not realize that a spy balloon went all across the country and Biden did nothing? And from the Aleutian Islands, they could, it could have been down across, over Alaska. They decided not to do anything. Then you, you have to ask yourself, if Trump was accused because of his foreign policy and nothing else, a change in foreign policy because it benefited the Kremlin, he, Biden's foreign policy and the way Democrats have run foreign policy the past three years, four years, okay, their vantage point regarding a whole lot of things benefited Countries that gave Hunter and Joe money. So, especially the most populous country in the world. Okay? The question, if it was Trump and it was a Russian spy balloon, they would say, oh my God, he's, be- he's beholden to the Kremlin. Well, is Biden beholden? Because he did nothing with that balloon. And we didn't have those balloons with Trump. You know what they're doing now? A story about Trump is an unnamed official. Rolling Stone does this routinely. Unnamed officials say... Now, the Washington Post used to do this in the New York Times all the time. Unnamed officials say, here we have people who worked with Hunter and Joe and, and, and everyone around them. 
not unnamed officials, the beginning of impeachment. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now.